Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. It's a new year and Boss's own Danny Canada is here to give us some hot pipe and tea and I gotta tell you, I'm here for it. Yes, I'm Why here not for, for the 2020. Why not, right? What's going on? Happy New Year Happy to you. Happy New Year. How's Happy everything? Everything is good. Just got back in town from Arizona. Was yeah. visiting family. Awesome. Happy to be back, though. Happy to be back. Yeah, it's good to have you back. So we're gonna jump right on in. Let's, let's get into it. So there's a whole lot going on, and we're trying to find out who's the serpent. Oh, who's girl. the snake on the Real Housewives of Atlanta? Somebody who is slithering. Who, it? <laughs> who had the audio? <laughs> Who had the audio? Who did it? Uh, who said that? All right, there is supposedly a snake on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, and this is coming to a head while they're on their cast trip in Toronto. Oh, so on the last episode, we have this new trio. It is Candy, it is Kenya, and Portia, and they confronted newbie Yovana, who they believe is the snake. Ooh. Now, all of the fans are saying, it's definitely you. I know you recorded Cynthia Bailey talking about Nene Leaks, and she sent out this video, and she said, that's absolutely not true. Mm. These ladies are foo-foo, AKA fake. Oh. She agree with some fans that said they're jealous because I'm making such a big debut on Real Housewives, you know, so she's denying all of this, but next episode, it looks like she is going to be revealed as the so-called really? snake. Yes. So then that's, she has no credibility then. Well, if, then it's if, a wrap. if indeed she if is indeed. revealed as the snake, then she will have no credibility. Exactly. People are saying that the audio recording doesn't even exist. They're saying it's all fake, so what? we're going to have to watch and see. Oh my God. A hot okay. mess. We're going to stick right there with the housewives. What's yes. happening with Nene and Portia? Okay. Nene and Portia so they're kind of trying to make up. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're kind of do something, but Nene's kind of putting her foot in her mouth. So on the most recent episode, they're still in Toronto, and she's telling Eva Marcel, I want to make up with Portia. But Eva brought up the fact that Nene sent out these nasty text messages to Portia. She told her that she was fat. She called her Miss Piggy. It was really nasty. Did she and really do that? She really did. Actually, it was this whole text exchange. So that Portia has the receipt. Portia has the receipt. She leaked them out to the press. Everyone saw them. And Nene said, well, not really, because, I mean, she was fat before she got pregnant. So it doesn't really count. And so fans were really mad about this. Like, first of all, Portia's not fat at no, all. No, honey, that's a big fat one. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Thing, she is curvy. <laughs> There's a difference. She's very curvy. And then yes. it's, second of all, if that's something you're trying to rebuild a friendship with, why would you say that? Yeah. 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 It's, not, it's, not, it's not looking too good for Nene with that. So well, here we go. Makeups and breakups for the 2020. We got a lot going <sighs> on. Oh, goodness gracious. This had been at the, the last quarter, I feel yes. like, yes. of, of uh, 2019. It was all about Fizz and April. Yes. So what's happening there? Are they still together? Uh, supposedly, Fizz and April from Love & Hip Hop Hollywood broke up, and this is a whole big controversy because it was, oh, Fizz is in B2K, and that's the mother of two of Amarion's mm -hmm. kids from B2K, and now it's like, well, now they're not even following each other anymore, and April deleted all of their pics off social media. So if you go back and you scroll through and you're deleting pictures, I think it's kind of obvious. Well, they did have everyone talking, and maybe they that did. took a toll on the relationship. Maybe it, it could have caused a strain. I don't know, but it looks Looks like it's not a thing anymore. Mm, so what well, a waste! What a waste! My God, I mean that was ugh, it was that, messy. That, like that was real messy. Yeah, you There's know, so many people in the world you can, you can date. be with, and you're with your bandmates' mm. ex who has his children, and then now you're not even on the Millennium tour anymore. Mm. It was all for nothing. My so. God. Mm. Well, the heat is not the only thing that's hot in Miami. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about Lori Harvey oh, and yes. Diddy and Future, honey. Girl. They got the whole trio down girl. there. What happened? Hot girl Lori Harvey. Um, she is having the time of her life, so right now she is no longer with Diddy. Allegedly, she was dating was she him last year. she really dating him? I think something was going on. If you remember, one of the Combs kids kind of hinted toward it, said they were doing their own kind of thing. So it seems like something was going on with Diddy. They're no longer a thing. She's now dating Future. Don't ask me why. Future and Diddy were actually hanging out in Miami on jet skis together, which is a little awkward. <laughs> but Diddy's not bothered because he seemingly has a new boo. Mm, I heard. So her I name, heard. her name is Jordan Azuna. She's 28 years old. She's a former Hooters waitress. She's a, you know, she's a model. She was tied to Tyga. She, what, 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 what she, she ever, she modeled where? She, uh, you know. Instagram and stuff, you oh. know. She was, she was so she came up from Hooters. Okay, yeah. very good. Then. No problem. <laughs> yeah, so but she also has YouTube. You know, she's, okay. she's, 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 she's gonna make thing. it happen. Yeah. But uh, let's talk about Drea, Michelle. That is my girl. <gasps> Drea. She's, oh, yes, I love Drea. Yeah. So, so she's not with her fiance anymore? She is not with Orlando Scandrick. So Orlando and Drea got engaged in 2015. They are actually no longer together. She broke the news and said, we haven't been together since December. Oh, so wow. she's a free agent. She so, is. So since she's such a free agent, <laughs> she might have a new boo. There is this NFL player she was spotted out with. His name is Corey Coleman. He plays for the New York Giants. He is a wide receiver. 
He's mm. very cute. And so she was spotted out on a date with him. And people are like, okay. But it's probably just a date. It probably was you, just nothing people serious. People have to stop. They probably just went out for, you know, some salads. <laughs> That's it. Casual and, salad eating, you know, it. between and, and friends. And sweet tea. That's all. Yeah. But listen, do not go anywhere. We definitely have more with Danny when we come back. Uh, these cards are piping hot. Very Stay right hot. there. See me. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live, and I'm here with one of my favorite girls, Boss of Deputy Editor, Danny Canada. Yes, ma'am. What's going on, girl? Girl, we got to talk about Monica. We do. We do. But I'm not really mad at her because I either. actually have criteria myself when it comes down to dating I mean, men. You know, I okay. don't think anything is wrong with I that. Think, I think it's good to have standards. It's good to say what you want. So Monica is being very vocal about this. So mm -hmm. as we all know, she's newly single. She's starting off 2020 as a single woman. Yes, she her is. Her divorce was finalized in October from Shannon Brown. Mm. So now she's just casually letting the gram know what she's yeah, looking for. Yeah, she should. She wants someone God-fearing, hardworking, honest with principles and integrity that will never be compromised. And she said there is a height requirement for this ride. I don't think she's asking for anything that mm, any other woman would want. Right, exactly. She's, those are the basics. I I'm, I'm wonder who she would date next. Like, would she get another athlete? Would mm. she get someone in the music industry? Not really sure. I'm, I don't know. I don't know for Monica, but I, I see nothing she's wrong she's a laid back, easy going girl. She's definitely, you know, she's really definitely chill, lo loved. So. Yeah, mm. yeah. But what is not loved is this <laughs> wax figure that they're <gasps> saying it's Nicki Minaj. Okay, there's a wax figure. Figure of Nicki Minaj, right? So this this is in Berlin, Germany. There's a new book. Well, technically it's not new. So actually this wax figure came out in 2015. That's horrible. But it was moved to Berlin recently and fans got a hold of it and they are so confused. They're like, that doesn't look like Onika Mirage to me. I don't know who this is. So people are crying foul about it. But what's actually interesting is Nicki likes it. Really? Nicki likes it. Nicki actually signed off on it when it first came out because this is her wax figure in Las Vegas. So I, she I enjoys just personally it. think that someone could have done a lot better. Listen, yeah. it's always a pleasure to have you, you here. Uh, if you want to keep up with more stories, go to Boss Up on Instagram. And the conversations always continue on all social media platforms at SisterCircleTV.com.